Hello, my name is Michael, and this is my level design assignment. I designed it using Unity's 3D Game Kit, which included their assets and prefabs, although I did make some prefabs of my own. The genre for the level is 3D platformer slash explorer, and I'm choosing to play the level because I wanted to show off the gameplay, basically the way the player would experience the level. And it takes place in a ruined temple that's been overgrown by plants and fungi and defended by hostile creatures. Now my level is divided into five main areas, although for the sake of keeping the video around five minutes, I'm choosing to demonstrate only the entrance area with the indoor tower, a grassy bridge, a defended gate, and an acid maze. And you're going to see those in, uh, coming up. So the way the player gets through my level is by triggering uh, switches and, and, and pads, which open doors that grant access. Now the player's just discovered a weapon, and now she has to use it on the grassy bridge. So the level's pretty much infested with creatures that I try to bite her or shoot acid at her. And the grassy bridge connects the indoor tower to this defended uh, gate. When I designed this level, I wanted to, the player to feel that they were being dwarfed by the architecture, so um, I tried to scale it in such a way that um, you know it really feels like the, 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 the level is spacious. The player's about to enter the acid maze, but first she has to take care of some creatures camouflaged in the foliage. And now we're engaging the... Um, the platform aspect of my level. One of the main hazards of this part of the level would be the, the acid, which not only the player has to take care not to fall into, but she also has to maneuver and fight and in some cases run away from the creatures which are infesting the level. To make what you're seeing, I, I took inventory of my assets and tried a few simple rooms and structures. I often played the level while I was designing it to get a sense of what the scale should be to create a level that was large enough to be explorable, but also to build to lead the player from one area to another. So now the player's faced with a door that's shut, and she has to explore in order to get it open. I will say that I had fun decorating the level with um, enough plant matter and fungi and trees. She's encountering an ambush and some obstacles getting in her way. Collectibles. As for how I came up with the different areas within the level, they came from deciding first what the gameplay would be, those being doors, trigger pads, switches, static platforms, and moving platforms, such as what I'm on right now. And then once those were decided, and once I had an idea of how the prefabs could be used, I just went ahead and experimented with them. Tried different things out to get uh, what I'm playing right now. So now the player's getting a brief respite from all the fighting and all the running and jumping. While I was designing the acid maze, uh, one of the things that I wanted uh, for the player to experience is a sense that they had to keep, uh, they, they had to be on their toes. As you're about to see, the player can't sit still on a, uh, on a platform for too long. They have to quickly assess their surroundings and move because uh, they're being shot at by creatures, uh, and 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 there she ha pretty much has to keep moving. Even when she does make it to a large platform. She has to take care not to um, get well, get careless. She's being hunted, essentially. In many parts of this of this level, she does have to fight her way through. In other parts, it's actually more advantageous to just maneuver around enemies and run away. Now we're seeing the end goal. Oh, 
We're almost to the finish line. And this is my level of design. Thank you for watching.